Hello, dear sister. I am asking the spirit baby realm, what do they want to talk about today? And uh, what they want to talk about is sacred relationship or sacred partnership, sacred marriage. They want to talk about our relationships with our significant others. Now, I know there's lots of lots of same sex families out there, but for the ease of my talking, I am going to refer to partners as a him because that's my experience, so it's just easier for me to talk like. So, anyway, the partnership between us and our husbands is the most important relationship that our babies will witness until they have their own. Um, and what we've all been asked to do lately is to upgrade our relationships. Either upgrade or leave. <laughs> Um, and most of the women I know have been upgrading their relationships. What does that mean? It means letting go of our old stories um, and finding a new way to relate to each other. I know I've had to do this personally, and it's, it's not easy because you have to release old patterns, old habits, old ways of thinking, that's the hardest, and find new ways of being together. I can honestly say that my husband and I have been going through some growing pains as we upgrade uh, for the past few months, I wanna say nine months. Um, and it's been wonderful and rewarding in many other ways, but then it also is difficult because you have to confront these issues or um, ideas of what you used to be. So basically, they want us to upgrade our relationships which raises the vibration of the relationship and of the energy of the family. Um, when we can find a way to be in sacred partnership, sacred marriage, then everything else sort of is attracted to that. Everything good, whether it's abundance or the spirit baby or happiness or joy or new jobs, new friendships, old relationships that don't serve as falling away. So the babies are asking us to find a way to alchemize our relationships. And I say my husband and I have been going through some growing pains for the past nine months, but frankly, I have been trying to upgrade my relationship with him since our first baby was born, which was almost nine years ago. Because um, babies do change the relationship. They do, they do. And I thought my partnership with my husband was rock solid, the best relationship I'd ever known or witnessed. I didn't think we'd have any problems. But we did, because what happens is that our relationship gets put on the back burner. He absolutely came last after my baby and then after all the other babies. And um, you know what? That's when other things start to struggle too. So. The babies want us to know that our, their, our connection with their daddies is a very, very important thing and that is nothing that should go on the back burner, but in fact should be brought back to the forefront. Um, just a couple of little tips on how to do this and what I've done. Um, and this past one worked so well for me. You know, my husband had just been so grumpy for years. <laughs> I'm not kidding, for years. And I read something in a book that really sparked me. And it said, the more positive energy directed towards a person, the more positive energy they attract and then they, they can embody. And I had that made me realize that I had not been directing positive energy towards my husband. Even though I love him and uh, you know he's my soulmate, I had been taking him for granted and just not appreciating him. And so no wonder he was feeling like shit a lot. I'm not putting all the blame on me, but a good portion of it because I am his, you know, I am the other person in the sacred relationship, but I was letting it falter. So I did a little experiment um, and I didn't tell him about it. I, I didn't even talk to him. I didn't change anything. The only thing I did was I got out a journal and every day for 30 days, I would write three things down that I appreciated about him. Now what this did, it took me literally five minutes to do this every day. But what it did is it changed the energy because I had to sit down and focus on him in my head and all the wonderful things about him for five minutes a day. That's all I did and I didn't tell him about it. But you know what he said after 30 days? 
And I kid you not, almost to the day, 30 days later, he said, I have felt so much better this month. Not only that, I noticed that he was happier. Actually, it just took three days to notice a difference. I noticed he was happier. And frankly, we were more abundant because, because he was happier. He felt he could give us a raise or maybe his energy was attracting more money to his business. All I know is that little change by itself made such a difference that I kept up the practice for two years. <laughs> two years! That really helped a lot, a lot. Um, I don't do it anymore. I don't feel the need to do it, but um, that was one surefire way to just change the dynamic, change the energy. So think about doing that. Just, you know, maybe for 30 days or even for a week, see what happens. And the spirit babies have many, many other ways that we can um, raise the vibration with our, our partnership. But that's one easy way that I'm going to talk about and right now. I don't want this to get too long. But think about ways you personally can increase the relationship, increase the energy, bring a sacredness to your partnership because that is what really attracts these babies and what helps um, raise our vibration so that we can match their own. I will have more on this because there is so much more to talk about, but for now, that's it. If you do do this, um, let me know because I would love to hear how it's, how it's gone. I know I have some other dear sisters that have done this and have noticed wonderful, wonderful differences. Um, so give it a try and see what happens from there. All right. I love you.